A good book is an event in my life. One can acquire everything in solitude, except character. There are as many styles of beauty as there are visions of happiness. I love her beauty, but I fear her mind. A novel is a mirror walking along a main road. If you don't love me, it does not matter. Anyway, I can love for both of us. Our true passions are selfish. God's only excuse is that he does not exist. All religions are founded on the fear of the many and the cleverness of the few. Beauty is nothing other than the promise of happiness. Pleasure is often spoiled by describing it. Love born in the brain is more spirited, doubtless, than true love. But it has only flashes of enthusiasm. It knows itself too well. It criticizes itself incessantly. So far from banishing thought, it is itself reared only upon a structure of thought. A very small degree of hope is sufficient to cause the birth of love. Faith, I am no such fool. Everyone for himself in this desert of selfishness which is called life. After moral poisoning, one requires physical remedies and a bottle of champagne. The idea which tyrants find most useful is the idea of God. Indeed, man has two different beings inside him. What devil thought of that malicious touch? Each man for himself in that desert of egoism, which is called life. The only way of touching a heart is to wound it. The ordinary procedure of the 19th century is that when a powerful and noble personage encounters a man of feeling, he kills, exiles, imprisons or so humiliates him that the other, like a fool, dies of grief. But, if I sample this pleasure so prudently and circumspectly, it will no longer be a pleasure. I am mad. I am going under. I must follow the advice of a friend and pay no heed to myself. Politics in a literary work is like a gun shot in the middle of a concert. Something vulgar and however, something which is impossible to ignore. Your career will be a painful one. I divine something in you which offends the vulgar. What is the use of a love that makes one yawn? One might as well take to religion. Beauty is the promise of happiness. The pleasures of love are always in proportion to our fears. Love is like a fever which comes and goes, quite independently of the will. The lover thinks oftener of reaching his mistress than the husband thinks of guarding his wife. 
The prisoner thinks more often of escape than the jailer thinks of locking the doors. Therefore, in spite of every obstacle, the lover and the prisoner are certain to succeed. The boredom of married life inevitable destroys love, when love has preceded marriage. Misery destroys judgment. I cannot provide the reality of events. I can only convey their shadow. To write a book is to risk being shot at in public. The more one pleases generally, the less one pleases profoundly. Exalted by a sentiment of which she was proud, and that overcame all her arrogance. She was reluctant to let a moment of her life go by without occupying it with some remarkable deed. The shepherd always tries to persuade the sheep that their interests and his own are the same. Life is very short and it ought not to be spent crawling at the feet of miserable scoundrels. Love is a well from which we can drink only as much as we have put in, and the stars that shine from it are only our eyes looking in. Only great minds can afford a simple style. Almost all our misfortunes in life come from the wrong notions we have about the things that happen to us. A woman of generous character will sacrifice her life a thousand times over for her lover, but will break with him forever over a question of pride. A wise woman never yields by appointment. It should always be an unforeseen happiness. To describe happiness is to diminish it. A novel is like a bow, and the violin, that produces the sound is the reader's soul. In our calling, we have to choose. We must make our fortune either in this world, or in the next. There is no middle way. Any man who talks about his love affairs thereby proves he is ignorant of love, and is moved only by vanity. Life is too short, and the time we waste in yawning, never can be regained. Love has always been the most important business in my life. I should say the only one. If you want to be witty, work on your character and say what you think on every occasion. Women prefer emotions to reasoning. The only unhappiness is a life of boredom. When you want to court a woman, court her sister first. The man of genius is he and he alone, who finds such joy in his art, that he will work at it. Come hell or high water. Logic is neither an art nor a science, but a dodge. The less sex you have, the more inspiration you have for beautiful songs. A 40-year-old woman is only something to men who have loved her in her youth. It is better to have a prosaic husband, and to take a romantic lover. 
Prudery is a kind of avarice. The worst of all. A man is not free to refuse to do the thing which gives him more pleasure than any other conceivable action. I see but one rule. To be clear. If I am not clear, all my world crumbles to nothing. <laughs>